court within seven days, then it was possible for the court to consider purging him from the contempt as it has just done. While we welcome the ruling as part of what the rule of law entails, um, disputes in court, you either win or you, you lose. But certain disputes like this one, which are evokes a larger public interest agenda, is one that the Kenyan people are the ones who win. We have tested the law and the court was very brave in, uh, in addressing this issue. The Inspector General, the, the acting Inspector General of Police then, Gilbert Masengeli, who is now the DIG Administration Police, has spent the better day, the better part of the day from morning in this very judicial facility. We, we see a new dawn in terms of how Kenyan governance and those who are entrusted with um, public service, the state officers and the public officers, in how they respect and adhere to constitutional tenets as well as expected values and principles of governance. Uh, it is also important to state that our petition is still going on. We, we have been lucky enough that the court has directed that the petition be placed before the, the Chief Justice for purposes of empanelment of a three-judge bench. So we are moving forward with this petition because it is important to stress that there are still Kenyans who have been abducted and they have never been found. So even though, and we have had uh, confirmations that the three Kenyans who are subject of our petition have been found and they are in good health, although a bit shaken, we still strive and we are making an emphasis on all those Kenyans who have not yet been found and have disappeared for the police, for the state agencies to take up responsibility and ensure that these Kenyans um, are found. We, we have to champion and we have to make an emphasis that we need a better Kenya a Kenya that works for all of us, not a Kenya that works for those who have the ability to buy their way in or buy in their way out. Allow me to allow anyone else. Yes, who wants. I want to say that uh, first and foremost, justice has been served today. Masageli finally presented himself to court. This was the last day. Had he not come today, he would have started serving his sentence tomorrow uh, at the Kenya prisons. And we want to say that uh, during his um, evidence and while he was pleading with the court to forgive him and purge in the conduct, he has indicated that he was not aware where the abductees were. We want to challenge the police and now the new inspector general that we have many other abductees who are missing. We have many young people who are killed during the protests and given wrong reports that they had been in involved in road accidents and some of them, their bodies are still uh, stuck at the city morgue. We want to say this is an indecent act by the police to Kenyans. Police brutality has to cease. Everybody is aware of what happened to a young university uh, entrant, a first year student of the mass media university who has gone through the, the latest brutality of police this week. And therefore, that's why we are going to go on with the petition. We want to ask Kenyans who may have information as to where this uh, young people were to approach the LSK so that we may have proper evidence uh, at the three bench court to make sure that uh, these abductions and any other atrocities against Kenyans by police or whatever organization or a group of people associated with the police or not so that they may not uh, breach the constitution and that Kenyans may their lives may be protected and their security may be ensured by the executive. I thank you. Thank you, Manu. Uh, my name is Manu Jose, Council Member of Law Society. As you're aware, we've been in these courts uh, for the last 30, over 30 days because of the application that and the petition that the Law Society filed. I think uh, the President has spoke, uh, the, deputy, the Vice President has spoken largely about what happened in court. But we intend as the Law Society to amend the petition even as we await the Chief Justice to empanel three judges to hear the petition. We intend to amend it to include all the other persons who have been disappeared or who have been abducted and whose whereabouts are not known. And so this battle has not come to an end. It's a win for the rule of law that the Inspector General uh, today honoured the court orders and uh, came to court. 
and at the same time today as you've been informed uh, by the vice president that the whereabouts of the second third and fourth petitioners that is the longton brothers and uh, mr njagi have been found were found earlier in the morning uh, abandoned in different places we raise concerns the coincidence of the inspector general of police choosing to come to court today and and uh, the people we have been fighting to for them to actually release their whereabouts uh, reveal their whereabouts are also discovered the same day so that's a question that we place to the inspector general uh, the deputy inspector general of police and of course as, as as members of the public you can fill in the gaps on our part we will continue to fight for the rule of law we will wait uh, and uh, of course when the right time comes the long term brothers and uh, njagi will be will appear before court demonstrate to court where they have been within this period we have been in court who was holding them what they were held uh, why they were being held and and explain who was actually holding them in, uh, within that period and we are waiting for that period when uh, the three judge bench will be uh, uh, convened by the chief justice for purposes of having those individuals presented in court we are hoping that uh, going forward we will not see in incidences of uh, police brutality uh, police uh, refusal to actually uh, uh, honor court summons especially when there is a habeas corpus application like the one that we had today thank you so much and may god bless any questions